You start, are you recording? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. G's class. Did you ever see Friends? What does that mean? Okay. Don't walk in front of the camera. All right, <laughs> listen up. We, we are going to learn something today, okay? We're going to learn about the... Uh, come on in. The hole puncher! Yay! All right. Let's say you want to punch a hole in a piece of steel or aluminum. Hold on, I'm doing a video. Old school, made in the USA, right? Boom. Okay. This is the hole puncher. Yeah, let's get a piece of steel. Hold on. Or here, here's aluminum. Hole puncher. Put it in there. Pops a hole right there. Get a close up of that. Booyah, Kasha. So, now, you put it on me for a second. One of my students asked if uh, that's the only size that you can make. And I said, no. Actually, what you could do is you can change the cutters. Okay? So come on in and check it out. These are all the cutters you have. Now all of them have a decimal number in the side. It's hard to see, but what you could do if you can't read the number, is you get... Oh shoot, it's a key. You get a caliper. And then you can read it by taking a measurement. This one's not calibrated correctly, hold on. Keep it down, we're doing a video. Okay. So this one is uh, 0.125, so that's uh, an eighth, okay? So um, what you could do is, let's say you wanna change it, it's real simple. They give you this little, I don't even think you need it, but they give you this tool. You just need a slotted or flathead screwdriver. Are you getting, are, is, yeah. are people seeing this? People are seeing it. Oh, good. You take this out, and then what you can do is you push, slide it back, and then whoosh, boom, this comes out. Put this on the side, take the new one. Don't put it in yet, because you still have to match up the bottom. So you need to match up, hold on, I'm doing a video. Okay, you match up the bottom with the bottom die. Oh. There, this one fits perfectly. It's a little loose, nah, that, that's right. And uh, you'll see, well it's written on the side but it's hard to see. <laughs> We're doing a video. Uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah, that, that's the size. Okay, so now if I, I know my match, it's not this one, and I'm gonna use this one, right? So I'll leave that there for a second and I'll put this back and, and always keep them here, right? Is that in the video? Yeah. Oh, good, okay. So, um, by the way, these, if you had to replace them, they're like $15 each, but the whole kit with uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies, and the puncher is like 100 bucks. And it's all made in the USA, okay? So you, you undo this one, the bottom. And uh, just unscrew this right here. And I always make sure I just put it away right away. Then put the bottom die in. And you just kind of like make it so you can see it and then this one goes in the top. Make sure they kind of go together. And then you take this right here. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. 
take this and just catch it with that hammerhead looking thing and then line this up now a lot of my students for whatever reason they go in this side and then when it stops they're like Ugh, I'll just I'll just turn it even though it doesn't go I'll just put pressure well that's how you ruin it because I want you to see this is muy importante this has no thread this has no thread and this has thread and this has thread but not threaded here some people call this a shoulder or a partial thread and then what you would do is put it in the side that has no thread all the way to, to the other side where it has thread and then tighten it now it should operate and you might have to adjust this part too there you go and let's punch a hole next to the other one There you go, there's a difference in size. Okay. Now, one more tip and then we're done. Okay. Something you might want to do. This is like a this is like a pro tip. Let's say you definitely want to target a certain spot, right? If you notice, on every die, there's like a little dimple or nipple or whatever, and it locks in. That'll give you the correct spot. So what you do is, this is like a pro tip. Get it close, put this in there, and then kind of figure out where it is. Once it's there, then you can put pressure on it. The other pro tip is don't smash your knuckles, right? And then take it apart, boom, and there you go. All right, I'm Mr. G, and that is how to use the hole puncher. Please put it all back when you're done. Lock it up, put it in the box. All right, I'm Mr. G, see you later. Bye.